dishwasher, and then I'll plant you guys. Oh good, you're back, Robo. Who are you with? No one. Who are you talking to? Just these sweet plants. I didn't know you had a soft spot for plants. I don't. I just want them to grow healthy and strong. And I read on the internet that talking to them helps. You've got to be kidding me. What? Robo, you can't believe everything you read. I don't, but I believe this. Absolutely not. It's impossible. It is not? Fine. Prove it. All right. I'll talk to these 24 plants and see how high they grow. But then how can you tell if talking to the plants helps them grow taller? You need to randomly split them into two groups. Talk to one, but not the other. Deal. Excellent. Let's write this down so we have a record of it. Tell me your hypothesis and I'll write it down. My hypothesis is that talking to plants makes them grow higher than plants that are not spoken to. Great. We'll measure the plant growth every other day for two weeks. And other than hearing my amazing voice, the plants will receive the same treatment. Great. So same amount of water, same amount of sunlight. Let the games begin. But the mums I bought last year didn't live that long. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be telling you this. I don't mean to scare you. I just wanted something that would last a little longer. So I thought bean sprouts were the way to go. You guys were also on sale, so that helped the decision somewhat. How's the plant talking going, Robo? Great. It's time to measure them. Okay. Should we compare each one's height individually, or...? No. I think we should take the average. Good idea, Reem. Okay. The plants that were spoken to have an average height of 4.12 centimeters. Shoot. The plants that I talked to have an average height of 4.13 centimeters. That seems pretty close to me. Let's plot these points and keep measuring. I guess I was wrong. Don't worry, Robo. You're not wrong. It's just that the data doesn't support your hypothesis. What do you mean? Check it out. See here? How you made your hypothesis? Yeah. At the end of an experiment, the data either supports your hypothesis or does not support your hypothesis. In this case, the data did not support the hypothesis, but it doesn't mean you're wrong. So, you're saying I'm right? No, I'm saying that you would have to do more tests. The data from this test did not support your hypothesis, but this is really just a first test. If you really believe your hypothesis is correct, I would do another test with a much larger sample size. More plants? Many, many, many more plants. The more plants you use, the more accurate your results will be. Then, you can do real statistical analysis on them to see if there's an actual difference. A statistical difference. Which would be more complicated. Right. You would want to prove that any difference in the plant groups is greater than the amount usually seen by scientists when comparing two random sets of plants. I knew you believed in me, Reem. Oh, don't get me wrong. I think the theory is baloney. Well, I'll start my big test tomorrow and get ready for some chatter in the lab because I have a lot of plants to talk to. Go for it. Just don't think it'll help them grow faster. Mm -hmm.